When you first launch the software, you're gonna see 40 built-in templates. Now these 40 templates can all be modified really easily. So, like I said, the first thing we're gonna learn is how to manipulate the text. So let's just click on a template. I like this one. And the template pops up. Everything, everything in the software is movable and modifiable. For example, the, the image of Baldy Bob here, the text is all editable, the background is movable and editable, and even things like the shadow in this um, graphic you can move around. I'll teach you about that in a second. But we're gonna focus on text. So, like any word processor or any software you've probably used in the past, you can click on the text, move it around, and if you double click on it, it'll highlight a word and you can change the word to me, something like this, or my text, okay? And you can come over here and double click on the uh, second word and change it, okay? Super easy. If you wanna edit the entire word, you can triple click and change the, the entire line. That's pretty intuitive, pretty easy. And if you'd like to resize the text, you'll see these little grab handle things, okay? Click any one of the four corners and just click and drag and resize it. Okay, super easy. If you want to stretch it, you can click on the center grab handle and click and drag and it'll stretch. Same with the center of the bottom part. Click and drag and it'll stretch. Just like silly putty or something, <laughs> okay? And if you want to rotate the text for any reason, you can click on this little tab up here and rotate it. Now, here's one of the good things about the graphics creator. When you click on the text, the image here to the left will change to text editing tools. If you click on a graphic like Baldy Bob here, the menu changes to the graphics editing tools. Okay, so to edit the text, we're going to click on the text and over here we have text format, text color, text styles. So let's go through the buttons. First, I'm gonna skip text format for now and I'm gonna go to the easy one, text color. If I click it, I can simply click on this little black square here, which is the black color. Click it, and if you watch me roll my mouse around, the text changes color. Now, if I wanted to have the text color the same as his tie, for example, I would come over here to this little eyedropper tool I would click the eyedropper and I'd come over here and I would click somewhere in the tie to pick up the color of the blue. I'm gonna click it. And the text changes to the same color blue. If I wanted the black part, it would take turn to black or the white. Okay, you got the idea. Or maybe his, his uh, face color. Okay, I like the blue. I'm gonna leave it that color. And I'm gonna come back over here and turn off the eyedropper. Now, when I'm done with the color, I come over here to return to text menu, and it'll go back to the regular menu. Now, let's go to text styles. If I click on text styles, I can choose bold or italic or text color or background color. So what does this all mean? This specific area only works if you have your text selected. So for example, super, I will double click on the word super. Okay, notice it's highlighted, all right? Now I can change the individual word super, click on the text color, and I'll make that yellow or orange maybe. Okay, and there it is. And if I double click it again, I can now change the background of the word super. If I click on it and I'll choose like red or something. And you'll notice that it's now my super text with the red as the background of the word super. Okay, so here's the text shadow. Click on text shadow and you'll notice that the text has a shadow. If you want to set a blur to it so it doesn't look so hard, you can blur the shadow. And the distance of the shadow, if you click it, you can make the distance suit your needs. And the angle of the, of the shadow, if you just click and roll the mouse, you can set the shadow wherever you think the sun is hitting it. And then up here, we want the opacity of the shadow. It's either super solid or I like very subtle. And I like to set the shadow pretty close to my text. With not too much of a blur. All right, cool. 
I'm going to return to the text menu and I'm going to set the outline around the letters. So if I click on outline, you'll see a dark outline appear and I can set the strength of that outline. I can set the color just like before. Click on the color swatch here and make it yellow if I want to. And the strength can be super big or super thin, up to you. Cool, super easy. Come back to return to text menu. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over quickly the text format feature for you. See you there.